good morning everyone uh, again uh, today we will uh, in this session we will start with uh, some of the other models creations of this machine wise assembly as in the previous session we have already uh, created the body of this wise we will uh, and go through the drawing part drawings and see what is next the as per this schedule movable jaw made up of cast iron it is part number 2 and here you can see onto the screen here uh, there is a three views of this component have been given this is the front view and this is a right side view which is projected on the left side of this component and this one which is top of here it is bottom view uh, of this component so uh, what is the raw material size here this is 100 at this position and this is 50 and then height will be here he has mentioned 45 on this edge from this it is 25 so you require you got the maximum size now you start your uh, modeling creation of this component first i will save the model by uh, giving the properties uh, names everything this is movable jaw and the document number is 2 and i will save it as 302 in the folder the material here is cast iron okay in the front view we will just uh, create a block of uh, 50 by 45 plus 25 this is 70 uh, take uh, xz plane itself as a front view perpendicular plane and then uh, use this as the bottom reference from here height i will draw 70 and then i will extract this edge offset it by 25 on either side now i will close this to create a block <coughs> still okay now you just create by using symmetry 100 on side view it is the width is 100 okay now it looks something like this block now start uh, removing the material uh, wherever it is not required here at the mid portion it is maintained as 40 and on either side up to 45 there is no material so i will use this uh, yz plane as my plane sketching plane i draw a simple block here and make it as 20 and from the bottom edge i will maintain 45 though the area within this profile will be removed it is symmetrical so you use mirror option in one go you can remove the material select both these profiles and select symmetry that material is 50 mm now you can see this part has shaped up 
and I'll keep it in front view and look for the drawing where other side materials have been gone here <coughs> here you see there is no material over here no material over here just uh, create those blocks by seeing the dimensions I will use XZ plane only I will create one simple block here and I will see the dimension from here to here this face is 5 mm and I just and uh, this edge bottom edge is 3 mm away from this just 3 mm this inside material we have to uh, remove it and then one more block you keep over here itself uh, on this side in the rear side it is 45 plus 10 that is 55 so on the bottom it is 55 and then this edge is from this edge it is 35 and just from here to here you maintain 35 okay mm. now go back to 3d environment now use cutout option select both these planes use symmetry and distance is 100 ok add it and uh, see this uh, now look for other operations that are needed to finish this part there are holes here again uh, M6 uh, thread, threaded screws for D10 and 13 is the whole depth. Their locations are given here. So first we will uh, drill the holes. Uh, take uh, on this face, uh, holes are given. Uh, select this as the drilling face. So this is a choose threaded option and use 6 die only. M6 uh, the threaded portion is 10 mm and uh, hole depth is 13 mm use V bottom shape and uh, locate this first instance and then by tracing this center you place one more pattern here and then look for this uh, dimension from the bottom edge it is 15.5 and 60 mm apart so from bottom edge i am restricting it to 15.5 <coughs> and from the center line i uh, will constrain it by 30 now from here to this hole i will restrict it 60 as per the drawing now go back and uh, see the your preview in front you keep it the model and uh, zoom it if you want to see the wireframe entities your hole has uh, drilled in this way okay and then again go back to the part drawing There is a threaded uh, hole here at the bottom side. From uh, this bottom edge, it is 27 mm, and then square threaded uh, of uh, 20 mm diameter hole is being introduced here. Just to, again, you go to hole option, select this space. Uh, 
threaded and use 20 mm here you use tr 20 into 2 for square thread and uh, this use this up to whole extent because throughout the material this hole is been drilled and for the location of the center use this bottom edge reference from here it is 27 even in the drawing I'll go back and uh, give the direction the hole has been drilled okay and now look for uh, other holes there are some other holes here threaded holes which are given here with the same uh, size and depth and location is uh, 24 mm apart at the middle of this uh, you select the bottom face and now I will uh, click the whole icon and select the bottom, bottom face they are threaded holes again M6 uh, uh, 6 dia metric threads finite extent 10 mm threaded length and hole depth is again 13 mm we bottom uh, keep this one pattern here and another pattern here exactly at the middle now constrain it by 24 by 212 and then constrain it this hole You should uh, identify the center of this hole. another icon over here I will translate it by center by 24 I will just copy this by center and then move copy option is there here I'll copy and 24 I will use okay mm. there are several ways to do if you find uh, difficulty in using one command so I just translated it So go back to return command and uh, see you can see the front view in wireframe mode and just the holes have been drilled. Okay and now look for the other commands and there are uh, radiuses chamfers have been left here. Uh, nothing much and there is R3 and R10 just give 3 mm radius and then here it is mentioned as 10 so I think this is uh, finished uh, no more operations are left just glance anything is left over okay i think uh, this is fine so you just hide your uh, planes
bring it i'll save it before closing your part and if you want to uh, change the color and save it okay uh, this was uh, a very quick creation as it was a uh, very small operations were uh, uh, very less compared to the first part and in this session only we will uh, uh, just continue the creating the other parts are very simple I guess jaw grip uh, is something like a plate here a plate with some countersink holes it is of 100 by 28 mm so here itself you close this and open one more part save summary jaw grip project is 3 so save it as 3 material for this is cast steel cast steel okay and uh, uh, just uh, here this is a uh, uh, front view and side view just I will take a exit plane here itself and uh, I will uh, take this bottom line uh, symmetric plane as the reference and also extract this edge so total is 100 and this is 28 make a profile by trimming this and just make a symmetry and what is the thickness and this is here in this view he has given 8 mm hide this and uh, now look for the countersunk uh, hole uh, details this is countersunk dia and shank dia is 6.3 um, just uh, it is 12.5 mm away from bottom edge and then 60 mm apart from the center so go for hole icon select this uh, face itself now choose countersunk option here and uh, diameter is given is 6.3 6.3 and he has given 12 dia and the angle countersunk angle is 90 and then through all option you make it just click on here and one more here and from bottom the center is it is 12.5 mm away 12.5 and then from this you constrain it Sixty, and then now. So knurling is uh, he has given knurling details here uh, for the jaw grip. Uh, it is uh, uh, the software has a limitation, and the groove making and all, and those options have been not there in this. So uh, we will. Uh, uh, finish this uh, part
uh, we require a grip and uh, they are all surface uh, finishing operations this uh, grooving uh, having a knurling on the to the surface uh, so these uh, uh, in many other advanced softwares these are available uh, okay right now we require this geometry uh, so save this We will change the color and save it. Okay, now uh, next part you see it is a screw M6, uh, the fourth part. Here it is given. Uh, screw the details have been given it is a tall dia of 16 mm length uh, mention here screw m6 and then project this is fourth part Save it and what is the material here? It is ferrous. So AP dash four one zero. Okay, you can create any plan you take as your wish. I will take a YZ plane and create. Let us see. Uh, Tall dia is the outer dia, and uh, create the material by protrusion. This length is been given 16. Now I will hide this uh, sketch and. I will take a XZ plane to remove the material. I will draw just draw a, a outer profile and I will extract this. This diameter is M6, so I will just offset it by 3 mm and then he has given 3 mm depth here uh, for the head thickness. From this line, you just draw a 90 degree, uh, 90 by 2, that is 45 degree and arrest it, uh, lock it by the giving dimension. Now you can change this angle. Okay, now you just Trim the, all these lines to get your uh, shape required to revolve. So this is it. And uh, revolve this using revolve cutout. Give 360 degree. Hide your sketch now look for there is a slot 1.6 mm width and 1.9 mm deep so just create a slot a rectangular slot here and this is 1.6 by 2.8 and 1.6 and from here and depth he has mentioned 1.9 take a cutout option make a symmetry 
exist 14 or 12 you give the depth uh, distance you will see this and you can give a jumper over here a small 0.5 since the diameter is very small and then you have a thread this is m6 thread up to the whole extent you can so now this i think uh, this is enough for this uh, uh, screw okay now save it and uh, look at the material schedule what is there a screw rod again it is made up of ferrous and screw rod is here the fifth part uh, it is also cylindrical part of uh, maximum dia 32 and then uh, length is uh, 40 plus 250 that is 290 uh, first you create this uh, um, stock size i will close this i will create a new part for this screw rod this name of this is screw rod and project is for you so u05 and then material is uh, again ferrous 410w So take any plane as I mentioned, uh, the maximum diameter is 32 and quickly come back, add the material, use this uh, symmetry option and then 290 is the length, I will give 290 and now hide this. Now by creating the circles, you go on removing the material. It is, uh, uh, have used that uh, option here from starting from this end. Leave this, uh, from this face, you start from here. There is a M10 uh, diameter is there. So from this, uh, take this end as your sketching plane. And draw a 10 mm dia circle and uh, see the depth how much it is from here it is 22 just use a cutout icon and use side step give the outer direction give 22 okay now you are here at this face there is a 12 mm dia of 18 mm depth step is there Again, you pick this, uh, hide this sketch, pick this face, yes. there is draw a 12 dia circle and then remove it by using this uh, side step outside direction, 18 mm is the depth. Okay, next uh, you use uh, uh, there is a 20 mm diameter is maintained uh, throughout this. Um, I think uh, um, 18 plus 22 is uh, 40, 40 and 40, 80, 80, 250 minus 80. This 20 dia is maintained so. Select this, uh, hide this sketch, select this face and draw a 20 mm circle on this plane. Now select the cutout option and then Side step, uh, you see this. Uh, this is 40 
250 minus 80 250 minus 80 I think uh, we have gone wrong somewhere uh, to 170 uh, and 250 minus 40 I think this you go to the specification tree and just select here and this is 2 uh, two fifty minus 40 uh, that is uh, is 40 and uh, here it is 20 uh, already I have gone 40 250 minus 40 so select this edit definition 250 minus 40 okay hide this and uh, there is a chamfer over here I'll give one mm chamfer this is thread threaded portion you just make it M10 and uh, this is also a threaded one square thread but even if you give the thread and the thread will not be seen only in drawing you will come to know that here 20 into 2 finite extent he has given 170 as the Threading length. <coughs> so I think uh, the major shape has come now, and uh, now you have to have this. Uh, uh, you have to have uh, some uh, drill holes here. Uh, since it is cylindrical part, you just. Uh, In front view, select ZX plane. I will draw a center line here, and the diameter shown is ten. And from the this bottom edge it is 20 so give this with the use of cutout you just 33 I will take And the hole has been drilled here. Hide this. Now take uh, on four sides these holes are there. If you look at this uh, top view. Mm -hmm. Again it is a 10 dia. And the same uh, distance twenty. Use cutout again. Use symmetry and 
okay the operations are over now he has he has mentioned radius 3 and view the radius here so hide all the reference planes and save this isometric fit it and save okay so this is over and uh, now what is left next so washer is there a simple part will create in this session only i will close this and i will create one more part here summary this is washer washer it is six zero zero six and material is also a ferrous four one zero So sixth one is 32 dia and 10.5 dia hole is there with 3 mm thickness. Just take XY plane and create 32 dia of circle. Go back and then use symmetry 3 mm thickness. Hide your sketch and use the whole command uh, how much 10.5 it is a simple hole through all keep it at the center so hide all your uh, reference plane while save it save this okay now the next part is a nut uh, seventh part here details have been given uh, both are similar nuts only the width is uh, differing here here it is 8 it is 5 and one side it is flat and one side chamfer circle is made he has given the external diameter so no need to approximate it 18.72 we will take and uh, draw the quickly draw this uh, uh, quickly create the model Summary not seven. Zero zero seven and the material is again ferrous zero W. So I will uh, use uh, draw the outer dia that is 18.72 and quickly draw the hexagon shape here and one side I will maintain this 60 degree and then using this uh, mirror option here mirror option is there And trim this quickly and join these endpoints. Okay, now go back and uh, 
add the material what is the depth depth is 8 mm new symmetry uh, 8 mm okay and uh, what is the hole diameter m10 so go to hole option and zoom it it is threaded uh, m10 uh, to hole extent through all and just keep it at the intersection and that's it and now uh, approximately you draw the um, chamfer circle here to create this chamfer you need to have this line and extract this uh, axis and now go back and we use a revolve cutout and select this inclined line and then select this axis give the direction outside give angle 360 the chamfer is made it is one sided i think in the drawing if you see the other side are not there just uh, save it um, hide all these and save it Okay, so the next uh, item is also similar, only the width remains uh, 5 mm. So, what we do is uh, we will save it as 008. It has make a replica of that, and then uh, what is the attribute in that only lock nut he has mentioned? Uh, go to file properties here you just add lock nut and project will be 8 material is same dimensions are same only width is changing so delete this cutout chamfer circle all remains same only right click on this protrusion edit definition here you click on this 8 just say 5 mm and to create the chamfer circle you just show your reference planes fit it and you can have a chamfer circle for this nut and just extract an edge with revolve cutout choose this section choose the axis give 360 angle okay now hide all the entities now hide all reference planes save this part okay now what are left uh, clamping plate is remained uh, ninth one I think this one a simple plate with uh, two countersunk holes uh, we will uh, quickly create that and end the session later on in the next session we will start the assembling uh, i will just create 
on this part clamping plate and this is ninth part 009 the material is uh, again ferrous fe410 w okay uh, first it is a simple part 50 by 50 square with the four uh, 8 mm thickness Twenty-five, fifty, twenty-five, fifty. Come out of this and uh, create U symmetry, uh, eight mm thickness. Hide this sketch. And now look for the, these are 24 mm and then uh, uh, there are, uh, these are countersink holes, 6.3 and 12 dia countersink kept at the center, 25 and 24. Okay, um, we'll go to sketch. Uh, whole icon and then uh, choose here the countersink it is 6.3 and countersink die is 12 and this is 90 uh, through all option you take However, it is at the center, you make sure that this is 25 and the only thing you have to mention here is all and from this hole to this center, it is 24. Okay. Now you can see here the holes have been perfectly drilled okay uh, now i will save this model i will save save okay so I think uh, we have created all nine parts uh, somewhere very simple and uh, body one and two uh, required uh, much time uh, okay but uh, practicing uh, if you practice it it will take very less time uh, so uh, in the next session, we will assemble this and uh, we'll take assembly drawings in the next session. Okay, then uh, see you in the next session. Until then, you keep on uh, practicing uh, using our part drawings and uh, with the use of uh, solid edge uh, software. Okay, see you.